here a long time. I do hope that I can get back to work and um, that it's over soon, but only with a fair contract. I don't think they they really thought we were serious. I don't think they thought uh, or valued our voices at first, and they thought like, oh, they'll get tired. Like, no, we won't. This has been a long and incredible haul, and may this deal be done. The mood this weekend, optimistic, as the major studios delivered what they called their best and final offer to Hollywood's striking writers. As with any strike, wages and conditions have been a major part of the job action. Those faithfully walking the picket lines for nearly five months say when it comes to money, they've had one key issue on their minds. Residuals. The writers, not surprisingly, want to be compensated. The more popular their shows are, the more people that are watching them. But as one film historian explains, it's a streaming world now. For example, unlike cable reruns, residual checks are not based on the number of times an episode is viewed. The streaming, they're selling subscriptions. While they may know how many folks are watching each program, that's their secret data that they use to create future programs, and it gives them, they think, their advantage over other streamers. So the streamers uh, led by Netflix are going to be very, very reluctant to release any of this data. Getting some sort of residual structure for streaming, this is huge. Among the other issues in the strike has also been better protections against the use of artificial intelligence. The writers fighting to save their jobs from AI stress, they won't be the last. The deal that we're working on right now is incredibly important for the longevity of not just the Writers Guild, but the entire entertainment industry. The beat of our feet on the streets, I think it's really um, set the tone for other workers in America and other unions. A question a lot of viewers have had is, when will their favorite shows resume? Keep in mind, actors' unions went on strike in July. That means even after a tentative deal is reached with the writers, without an agreement, with the some 160,000 actors still on the picket line, an end to the WGA strike by itself won't do much to resume halted productions. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.